Boom, 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 camera shake. Sorry, there are no sound effects. I have to make the sound effects. But today we will talk about camera shake, one of the most important things that you have to know because it will spice up your game. And I will have an easy script for you. You can set this up in 10 seconds. You don't believe me? It's really that simple. I downloaded the standard asset from the asset store, import this, go to scenes and then I open the particle scene. You can then go to uh, the standard asset folder, particle system, scripts and you will find all the scripts for the explosions. And there is one script called explosion physics force. And you go down into the script, into the description right now because there was a script called camera effect. There's a link. You can download this. It's um, my script. I created the script. I will explain it to you, but you don't have to understand it. The only thing that you have to do is go to anywhere in the script. It doesn't matter where. I just go here into the explosion physics for start. You can uh, have your own game and uh, your own point and you have to write only one line. And this is camera effect. And then you have to add this using statement and then you just say dot shake once. That's all you are done. In play mode, try it out, that's it. So if uh, this is enough for you, close this tutorial, you are done. Never think about it again. But I have some parameters uh, you can add. For example, the duration. If you have a longer um, shake, if you want to have a faster shake, you can add 20. Um, if the amount isn't enough, you can say, okay, um, these are units that the camera will shake. Um, if you have different cameras, you can specify the cameras. If you have trouble with the position because the shake um, will modify the position, then you can set delta movement to do false. So it's explained in the description. And you can set an animation curve. We will leave it like that. We will come to this. So that's it. A longer shake, heavier shake. Um, yes, it will stop. It will take 10 seconds, but that's it basically. Let's see the other option. You can also add the camera shake, no camera effects here. And then you have the script. Um, you will call it in a different way. You will say, okay, camera main get component camera effects. And then you say shake instead of shake once. It's just a shake. And then it will take these parameters and you can easily set up this in the UI, for example, uh, the amount we already talked about, the duration, the speed and the curve. And this means at the beginning there is a, a hard shake and then the shake slowly goes down. And the delta movement option. So, um, yeah, let's try it out. So you can set this during the game. So here we go. A little bit of shake. Now let's go really high. And the shake is insane. So, so here we go. We just create a camera effect script. We are pretending that we do not know anything and we create a movie behavior so we can drag it, drop it on the camera. Just um, have in mind, we want to set a script on our camera and then we want to have this shake method. So first up, um, we will create all the things we already seen. So the amount, we set the initial value to 110, the duration, one second, the speed is 10 units whatsoever, uh, animation curve, and the delta movement. Now we can already see the values here and we can set them. Now let's continue with the protected members. So a camera, why do we need the camera? The camera is just the camera we just attached the script to. And we say get component camera and on awake and we know the camera we are currently attached to, which is normally the main camera. After that, let's create the other ones. The time, last position, next position, last FUV and FUV stands for field of view. Okay, what is the field of view? Mm, let's have a look at this camera. So the camera has a field of view and a position. We want to modify the X position and the Y position to shake the camera. But I don't want to go forward and backward. It, it looks a little bit weird if you go forward and backward. It makes more sense to change the field of view because it, it's a cooler effect 
Okay, let's continue. We need a shake method. And the shake method just do it, just resets our tame time value and sets it to the duration um, the user just entered. When we want to shake, we first make sure that the camera is reset. And the reset method is just um, setting the last position and next position to zero and our last and next field of view to zero. Then we set the actual camera position in late update. Late update is the latest update. So basically Unity calls update all the time and fixed update all the time. And late update is the last call before the frame is actually shown. And this is a perfect um, place to position a camera. Okay, now we ask, is the time greater than zero? And this is only the case here if we called shake before because the duration is set and then we set the time. The time normally is zero and we know if the time is greater than zero, we have to shake the camera. So we um, just subtract the delta time so that the time is zero anytime soon. So if the time duration is one, it takes one second so that the time is zero or lower than zero and we won't execute this anymore. And here you see in the last frame, we will reset our camera and otherwise here we will shake our camera. So when we reset the camera, um, we translate the transform. So um, we just subtract the last position. The next position is the position in the next frame and the field of view. So basically we could add transform white and transform up because this is the up and the white vector of the camera and not in the word space, but in the object space. Then we will use the Perlin noise. And if you seen, have seen many tutorials out there on YouTube, you will see that they use some kind of position jumping or a, a curve or something. And Perlin noise is actually pretty good to make a sh camera shake because you have a smooth movement in slow motion of the camera. And if you move fast, the, the, move, the camera is still jumping, but not so hard. It looks way better than just a position jumping. So if we use a Perlin noise, uh, we can have an x and a y, y value and we will just pass the time. We variate the time a little bit so that we do not um, enter the t all the same information into Perlin noise because then we will get the same output. Um, the output is a random number between 0 and 1. So we will subtract a half so that we uh, get a value between minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5. Next up, let's add speed. The speed is multiplied by the time and this is just an accelerator for the time. So then we add the amount and this is after the Perlin noise method so uh, that we just increase the amount and not the speed. Um, and the x value is just the transform white, the y value transform up and with that we will modify the field of view. And then the more complex stuff, a curve, a curve evaluate. You can pass a value and you will get the output based on the curve you just set up. So I assume that the curve will be a curve between zero and one. And the time divided by the duration minus one is just, it's just a short form to say, okay, at the beginning we start at zero and at the end of the duration we are at one. So that's basically it. Uh, let's change the field of view. And the field of view is the next field of view minus the last field of view. And the position will be translated by the delta between the next position and the last position. Okay, now you might ask, okay, what is the last position? Ah, that's simple. The last position is just the next position. So in the first frame, these two values will be zero. The last thing is really this mysterious one-liner that shakes our camera without even knowing what we are doing. And this is a special method because it's a static method, so you don't need an instance. And you say, shake once. And you set everything as fixed as you can so that you don't have to pass anything of these values. For example, duration, fixed to one, speed, 10. These are all optional parameters. The amount is null, so you have to add a questionnaire. If you do not add this questionnaire here, you can't really use it because it says, okay, a vector can't be null. So you can set the questionnaire after each type 
and then you can also use a null value for this type. So, but we don't have an instant, but we some kind of need to have this script attached to a game object, so we will do it in one time. If the camera is null, we have a fallback. We take the main camera, otherwise we need, uh, we just take the camera that is supplied to this method. We say game object and add component camera effect. That's basically what we did in the editor by drag and dropping the script on our object. And then we have an instance. And then we just copy the values, duration to duration, speed to speed. If the amount is set, then we set the amount. If the curve is set, we set the curve and the delta movement. And then we basically have a script and say instance.shake. So we will add instances and instances and the camera will be full of instances. We have to destroy them. So we add a protected destroy after play. Instance destroy after play true. And this means as soon as we just played our animation, we should destroy ourselves. Maybe here at the last frame. And that's it. Yeah. And I would like to see you next time. Bye. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.